Hey guys, uh, prayer works. It really does. Okay, I'm gonna keep this video short. I didn't want to do it, not because of, I just didn't want to, because it's like, man, okay, it's. But anyhow, I'm drink, drinking out of. Change my coffee cup. My other one's got Ephesians or Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, and you'll direct your paths. Favorite cup. Got like three of them. But anyhow, um, it works. This, this video, even me with my ugly mug, but the camera works great, kind of. I mean, I guess. It seems to. Picture's okay like to have a little bit better but I'm seeing the hand of God in so many different aspects and ways but I know prayer works and I appreciate all y'all's prayers because I know some of y'all have been praying for me and in other avenues we're using I'm on social media and other friends and other just people we know but <clears throat> This is small, but not. I'm going to just give you a couple, but there's some big ones. There is a storm coming to this country. Some of them already started, though, guys. And it's a storm to clear a path for us to choose as a people, as a nation, as a person. Get your relationship right with him. I didn't want to put it out. It's even dated August 11th to September 11th, 2020. I don't like all that because of the sensationalism and stuff. That's what the Lord told me to do. But this was what he told me in the beginning of it. And I'm saying this for a reason because I'm telling you that prayer works. Right before last August, around the 8th, got that dream, the one that I put out. And now there's other ones that are coming into play. So I put them out there, because that's what the Lord told me to do. But before I got the date, I got the dates, the August 11th and, this, and the September 11th and dream, but before I got the 2020 date, after I woke up, I, Kind of panicking and man, God, what do I do? Do I warn people? That was a pretty intense dream, real intense dream. <sighs> but part of that process was in my prayer. He said the storm was going to come first to me and my wife, and I had had some other visions, which I'm probably going to share later <laughs> to go along with that. <clears throat> But they were all starting to fit, and they were all starting to fit together. But I was like, okay. Man, literally all hell broke loose, guys, or so I thought. And it just kind of got to where, and right now we've got a couple storms that are still raging. Honestly, it's like the boat might sink. Not. Because I know who God is. I know who Jesus is. I know who the Holy Ghost is. I know what his word's saying. Even filling up. Well, ready to, but it's not going to. I know that. I mean, it's not even because I'm seeing things already taking place that have changed the whole course of this. Some of the storms were of self, myself, and those hurt. Self will run riot. Me. Man, God. My selfishness. Some were self-inflicted, some were other people inflicted, circumstances, some, things of life, some demonic attacks, literally, with witchcraft involved. So it's like, okay, God. But one piece, one small piece of it was all this stuff that the Lord told me to do. He told me to do, build a website, the YouTube, all this social media garbage, and not, man, I don't even like it for one. 
it's hard for another very, very hard challenging. If you knew me, you'd be like, man, it's, it's like, almost a, it's an impossibility, technically. But I did. Like 800 bucks, guys. Just type, Google Jesus is live in America and we come up. It's 800 bucks to 900 bucks to do all that. And that's pretty cheap. It's a shoestring budget, guys, because I want to give to other things. One of them being the homeless shelter ministry. But, <clears throat> so it's like, my wife and I were talking, she's like, man, we really need to kind of, you know, cut back a little bit on something here. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right, because that's part of one of these storms. But I'm like, but I need some computer help. I wanted to honor my wife. So I was like, okay, God, okay, Jesus, what do I do? I want to do something very, very shoestring budget, if not even free. Really, free was the key word. What do I do? Pray. Brought it before God. Supplication and prayer. That's how come I'm telling you prayer works. But this is just one piece of it. But I'm going to tell you another small piece. But I'm, there's some major ones in there too. So that's why it's like, man, I know the storms are going to end up. It's one of those, some of them are like the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm like, okay, this is good. This is ugly. This is really bad. I know it's really good. My father has been really good to me. Jesus has been really good to me. Holy Ghost has been my friend. So through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. But so, I need computer help. God, what do I do? Tells me, to, I'm not going to say the name of it, but it tells me to call this company that I don't even like. I really didn't think they were doing anything great or good to help people. I'm like, what are you talking about? I called them. I start, I already went to orientation. It was 25 bucks. I'm going to go to, for six weeks. I get 12 weeks of college credits or whatever, 12. I don't, don't think that's that much, but still. But I'm going to get a certificate in some of the computer programming. And it's all free. And it all fits my schedule. And the Lord gave me the time to do it. And everything just kind of just got... So that's part of the prayer too. The prayer, he cares about the details too, even in the prayers. Perfect fit for me. And I went down there. And the, the, the address was in not a seemingly that nice part of Dallas, but it was in a really nice part of Dallas turned out. In a, for whatever reason, that area is not, but that area is. And the building's nice and everybody's nice. And there's... One of the ladies was a Christian, one of the ladies in charge of it was Christian, I could tell. We talked about God from right from the beginning. Another lady sat down, she was just sitting down while we were waiting, she was reading her Bible. It's like, man, it was just like, good stuff, guys. Prayer works. So, six, six months ago, a year ago, over, it just ended, my warranty just ended last month. So it was over a year ago, I bought this computer, 400 bucks, and I, you know, I don't know enough about computers, like I said, the technical stuff. So I'm not going to buy a $2,500. I'm going to buy a $1,500 computer because I don't know if I'd be able to use all the stuff that's on it anyhow. Just so 400 bucks. Not a lot, but it's what I could afford. <clears throat> about six months ago, it broke. It started flashing, and I just, part of some of the storms I'm in, I just couldn't take care of it at the time because of the, it just too involved. But, so I just didn't really neglect it, I just put it off, so I just, you know, I'd fix it a little bit, do the computer cleanup or whatever, and fixed it. And then it went out one day when I really needed it, and it had all my stuff in it that I needed for all the things that the Lord was showing me to do, a couple of more books and some other stuff. <laughs> God, I really need that. 
pay $100 to have it backed up from an old Kundu and an old computer so that before I sent it off, because I was like, if I send it off, they, I asked them, the technicians are going to wipe it out, clean it, or whatever, you know, and I might lose it all. So I said, so, so what do I do? And they, you know, for 100 bucks, they salvaged whatever they did. And it wouldn't come on, but they had to put the hard drive. And they, they fixed it. They, they had to put that, take the hard drive out, put something else. And long story. But they salvaged the, the data on it. Were able to so I was like okay thank you Jesus but it was a hundred bucks because I didn't back it up which should already have backed it up but so that was a lesson by itself another hundred bucks so two technicians long story weeks long story send it off to the manufacturer finally because their 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 technicians are telling me the store where I bought it it's you know destroyed I have to send it off for warranty. Do they send it back? Can't fix it. You did something to it. I'm like, I didn't do anything to it. It just quit working. He bought cheap junk from China, probably selling garbage. Even though I paid 400 bucks for it, I was mad. Send it back. Send it back. I'm standing in line. Laura speaks to me while I'm standing in line. There's another lady or man in front of me. I don't remember. And uh, he said, they're going to want to charge you for it. I'm like, well, I'm not going to pay for it. So I get there. She said, oh, it's, you know, did anybody tell you? Da, 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 it's $89. I'm like, I'm not paying for it. I'm paying you nothing. Just give me my computer back. Felt bad because it was just a clerk that had no, you know, it was a system. I was like, man, I already felt like they were cheating me as it was. I'm not paying you guys anything to tell me you won't fix my computer that's under warranty mad she knew it and she just waved it and said okay you don't know anything probably maybe not the greatest christian experience and model at the time honestly but you know i mean i didn't cuss her out or anything but she could tell i was mad probably i mean i wasn't the greatest witness but i got my computer back I said lord now what do i do Waited a couple days, prayed about it, kept praying about it, mad, praying, mad, praying. God, God hears our prayers even more mad, guys. I had, but I had to go through that and break through that and get rid of that anger. A couple days went by, and then he said, plug it in. I mean, it said overnight, and I did. Came on for three days. I thought, man, this is cool. This is going to be a great testimony at the shelter. What God can do with prayer. Blink, three days later, quit working. Being God. Long story short, it's two months probably. Off and on, praying, praying, praying. Well, right now, guys, works great. Better than when I bought it, honestly. Because it was slow. I was like, man, why did I spend 400 bucks for this? There seemed to be something wrong with it from the get-go. Almost. Probably should have took it back then. But, <clears throat> so, prayed and prayed, but now it's working. I mean, it's been months, five, six months ago, or a while. It's been running good for the last couple months. Really good. Use it all the time now. So, anyhow, that prayer works, guys, and he cares about the details. Some of these other things, there's some other major things that he's showing me too, and a lot of things in the spirit. And I'm just, you know, watch some of my other videos because there's scriptures and all kinds of good stuff. But the storm that's coming, guys, to our lives, is to clear things if we choose. It's going to be a choice. It's time for America, the people in America, to make a choice. Your choice. Don't get to sit on the fence anymore. When we're playing church, in and out. Might not even be, you might not even be in a building. That's not what I'm saying. The building has nothing to do with the church, honestly, guys. It doesn't. You're his body. In one of my messages, he said, why are we trying to create another house when I've already created one? And that would be you. I'm not talking to me. He was talking to me, but he was talking to you, all of us. 
already created one. Why we want to, you know, it's kind of, some of this stuff is kind of surreal, guys. So, I'm going to end with that. Prayer works. Who's your source? It should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Um, instead of all this other nonsense and pollution that's distracting us from the truth all around us, blowing up in our face, loud and proud. Man, it's a mess. But Jesus is not a mess. God's not a mess. The Holy Ghost is not a mess. And you're not a mess. You're God's creation. So anyhow, pray. Pray for me. Pray for others. Pray for your family. Pray for yourself. I'm not talking about, because that's one of the idols of the, the God of self, but it's so, all. Go before God. Bring it before Him. Because it really works. Um, really works. We had some stuff happen over the holidays, too, you know? And it was like, man, but I just saw some prayer work in that. Big, big, huge impact. That I don't really want to go into the details of it. But it still worked. I'm sure many of y'all could, you know. So if you got something to say and you want to comment on it, um, comment on this. Um, I do have a blog page. Just email me at youngster, uh, Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. I got a blog page at Jesus is Alive in America.com. You can email that um, and give you instructions. I want to start, you know, I'm trying to start this blog page. Guys, help me out a little bit. Let's comment on it. And, you know, on my Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Too. So comment on any of those. Um, we love you. And we will talk to you guys soon. Um, 